What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Shopmakers Pro Shop here at New Glass Bowl in Toledo, Ohio, uh, where we got a couple of new bowling balls. You just saw the afterburner, the blue afterburner, it was pin up. Uh, this is gonna be the same layout, but we're gonna take a look at the Parallax now. I know a lot of people are really anxious to see this ball. You've seen some of the other reviews from some other people. So now let's take a look at an uncut review with BoardBox uh, and see if we can't make some better shots than we did with the afterburner and see what this ball gives us down on the lanes here on a 44 foot league pattern uh, and it again this one is 55 by five and a, or by, yeah 55 by five by 40 so it's going to be that more rounded a little bit lengthier more rounded shape that I'm looking for. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be really overreactive. I haven't thrown it yet so I'm not sure what it's going to do but you're going to get to see it here in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. So we've got a stronger cover, stronger core than what that afterburner was. So we're gonna start in that same typical spot, that 13, 14 range, and see with a rolling hand position what it's gonna do. All right, that's pretty sweet. That was, I don't know, that was interesting. It definitely rolled, it rolled good, but it gave me that tumbly feel, like it was real end over end tumbly. I don't know how to explain it. It's not flaring a ton. It's not wrapping all the way around the ball, so that's good. Let me try and, I'm gonna make a two and one. So hopefully this hits about 14-ish. And it looks real lazy down lane for this layout. I was expecting it to be a little bit more pop down lane. And maybe it's gonna be one of those balls that needs a little bit of surface on it or needs uh, some games on it before it really starts to kick in. But as far as shot making goes, that's two for two. Those are two pretty good shots there. All right, so we're gonna make a little bit of a leap now. So I moved two there. So now let's move five try to get to that 17 18 range all right that one popped down lane a little bit better that one definitely was a little bit better down lane and i wonder if it maybe just needs that steeper angle tried to get a little bit lazy going straighter i don't know but it looks pretty good so far i mean it's struck every time so i can't say it's bad so I'm gonna go three more off that so this should be I'm gonna look at 18 I should hit about 19 or 20 oh hit what I was looking at and I don't know if it's hitting a label or something no. sounds like it's rolling over a label maybe that's what's doing it Not really sure, but that's the first time it didn't strike. And that's the first bad shot, so that makes sense. Can't expect to strike every time, right? Especially when you don't throw it good. You got there, but... Yeah, see, I wonder if it just flared over to the label and it's kind of hopping a little bit. Not hopping, but it gives me that thump, 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 thump down lane. But I don't know. Let's try that again. See if I can not throw it terrible. All right, here we go. It's better. Much better. So good shots strike, bad shots don't. Dang this fair game. So what do they say? Just don't throw them bad. Never throw them bad. You ain't got to worry about not striking. Move three more. Oh, 
I'm actually shocked that that picked up in that spot. So that was about a three and one there. And it sat in the oil, and it looked like it was going to labor, but it didn't. It actually picked up pretty good. So we'll see as we go left. I mean, I'm starting to get my hand around it now. So you're going to see a little bit better reaction, I would hope. All right. Start getting further left. Oh, I missed way left. I missed way left and it still sat there and struck. Goodness. So that was an anomaly. That was one where you actually throw a bat and it still strikes. We need more of those, please. May I have another? Actually, I'd rather just throw it good and strike. All right. Let's try again. Let's try not to throw it awful. I am trying to kind of spin it up a little bit, my hand around it more. better. Oh, better. I got further right because I spun it, but it's not giving me a huge down lane motion. So I guess being you know, a big, strong ASEM like this, because this does have some big numbers compared to the other ones that I drilled today. It is the strongest of them. I think the parallax would, uh oh, that's not supposed to go in the gutter. That might screw up my board box. Oh, it did. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, well, so our down lane reading might not be very good because <laughs> we have points on, our, on the caps here. So the board boxes are kind of just balancing out there. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna go back left. I'm gonna really try to get my hand around it and get it to go through the pens. It's a good shot. It's a little better. It's still lazy. It's a little bit lazy. So it'll be good for, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it's really gonna be good for. It looks good right now. So it might be good for anything. It might be all around good. Um, it doesn't give me that feeling like it's gonna be very good going straighter, like uh, you know, being on a straighter pattern, like or a, long, or a shorter pattern. So let's see what it does for right around that eight, nine range. Yeah, see, it just kind of bails. So I think you kind of have to be left and go around it uh, for this ball to be as, as strong and as good as what it can be. So maybe I wouldn't go with such a weak layout. You know, the five and a half or that five inch pin might be a little too weak, um, but we'll see. Let's get that spare out of there. Oh, you got him. Hook, hook. Oh, made the 5.7. All right. So now I'm going to try that one more time going straighter. I'm just going to try and get a little bit further right and see if it will read off of that just a little bit better. Uh, it just laid there so that's good all right there we go so that's the parallax uh that's going to give you a it's going to be a shiny hybrid i believe it's a hybrid hybrid or a pearl i don't remember but it's going to give you that shiny piece that's not going to be too too strong downline it's going to give you a good well blended reaction it's not going to give you something crazy so if you're a storm fan and you always feel like man i can't drill anything shiny because they all go sideways down lane this is going to be that ball for you this is going to be that ball that's not going to go crazy down lane it's got a strong core with a uh, super clean, strong cover that's gonna make it nice and rounded for you. So make sure to head over to bowlerx.com, get yours today. Come up here, see uh, Keith over at Shop Makers, get yours drilled after you order it from Bowler X, and they'll take care of you over here in Toledo. So uh, that's all I got for you. Make sure to uh, hit that like and subscribe and comment below. And until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you later.